is October 11th, 2021. And I had to show you these little munchkins because they're getting really active. This is Cora and uh, Everest Litter. Make Cora, Everest. I wrote that down in the book. I usually only write the mom's name down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I believe the only one with Bash is Rona, uh, Everest, Sired, both of these litters. And um, of course, both boys are featured on our parents' page. So you can see them there. Uh, someone recent, recently questioned genetic testing. Yes, we have done it. Uh, Everest has also even been checked for his hips. Um, Bash. Oh, I'm thinking of Grant. Grant's the one I took in recently for x-rays. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, here is our light pink collared girl. Now, I know that there is someone looking for double blue-eyed Merle. Um, I checked all three of these girls, and um, there is nothing obvious at this early stage. And to be honest, when there is nothing obvious at this early stage, it is unlikely they will be blue. Okay, I don't see any blue in either three of them, oh, their eyes. Okay, and you have a pretty face, very pretty markings. Yes. Oh, you boy. That's our green collar boy. He's, of course, black and white. Yeah, and then there is our purple collar girl. My daughter's been able to come over, and we've been able to let my granddaughter, who just turned one two days ago, um, she loves puppies. So she's going to be our new social puppy socializer. Yeah, I'm just so glad to have my daughter living close to me again. Having both of my kids living far away out of state was challenging, but at least I got one back. So, all right. And let's see. This is Law Padoodle Canine Manor, as you know. Well, maybe you don't, but now you do. All right, and this is our dark gray collar boy. Now these are, again, Cora. Cora is a beautiful brown and white um, uh, standard poodle. And yes, we purposely named her and her almost twin sister, Rona, who has a litter with um, Bash. Uh, they, um, excuse me, lose my train of thought. They um, are a couple of knuckleheads is what they are. They're the last ones I let in and they run around and give me a run for my money. They just like to mess with me. <laughs> They're too funny. Um, but uh, Cora, Rona and yes, Cora and Rona, when I acquired them, I did name them intentionally. <laughs> um, their birth dates are noted as well on the uh, website. And if you have any questions about either one of those girls, I got them from a fellow breeder I've known for many, many, many years. And uh, any of the dogs that I've gotten from from her over the years, I have never been disappointed with. She's an awesome breeder. Um, I always get awesome moms from her. And uh, just, I mean, and of course, everything she does is genetically tested. So, um, these are good puppies. Yes, they are good puppies with good mamas. Yes, they are. They're goofy, but they're, they're good mamas. They're goof nuts. They just like to have fun. That's right. They like to have fun. All right, here's our dark pink collared girl. She's one of our Merles, our three Merles. All three Merles in this litter are females. Our light pink collared girl. There's our green boy. He's a goofy. You're goofy like your mama's. Yeah. With your big mouth. Okay. Purple collared girl. Beautiful brown and white dairy cow markings. All right. Oh, I forgot to check. I knew I had a leftover, but I thought it was because it was too long. Guess I'll have to change your collar, huh? I missed you. I'm sorry. That's our light blue collared boy. I've got the yarn close by, so I'll change them. I like to change them regularly. Sometimes they fall off on their own, which is one of the reasons I use yarn in lieu of some of the other things that other people do, because it will break and pull off easily. Um, I don't want anything that's not going to come off easily because I fear uh, puppies choking. Um, I'm an anti-collar person, as those that have worked with me know, only using when necessary, walking, things like that. But when it comes to my puppies here, yes, they're great for ID, but I just use um, typical rayon yarn. It breaks easy. It stretches easy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and I've never had a puppy choke from one. And uh, I tried the Velcro and... I didn't like it, and there's been other things that have been on the market, but I, this is my go-to, tried and true, lasts forever. I mean, a scan of yarn will last forever uh, for, the for what I use for it, okay? 
All right. Who's behind me, both of you? Mr. Lewis Lovey Duffies. Yeah, come here. Come on. <laughs> That's our dark one, pink colored girl. Here she is. Here she is. Yeah. By the way, update on me. I know this is the first video since I had my accident. I'm doing great. A little bruised up physically. You know, in other words, my appearance isn't back to normal. Um, I can kind of doctor it up with a little bit of makeup. Praise God, somebody invented makeup. Um, but I'm feeling great. Uh, pretty much back to myself. <clears throat> Over here, I'm doing puppies full-time, mom's full-time. Back to my normal chores. So I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate all your prayers. Um, but I am back. I am back. All right. What do we got here? Here we got our aqua color Merle girl. See, there's her face. Pretty. Most of the noses, and I don't, I'm not really sure about the Merles, but most of the noses will turn all black. A lot of people are concerned about that in the beginning and they want them all black. And the Merles might, sometimes they might end up with just a little birthmark where they show a little white on their nose, but um, as they get older, they generally will fill in to be all black. There's our dark gray collar boy. He's not liking the new collar I just put on him. And this boy went back to sleep. Yeah, they're about, um, I think three weeks old now. Their birthday was 9-20-21. And, uh, oh, lovey sisters. Lovey sisters. Yeah. Here's our gray collar boy. And our green collar boy. Okay, so I just wanted to um, give you all a, an update on this letter as people are trying to make their selections that have been noted on the various pages. Uh, please check out our Cheap -a, Cheap a Doodle reservation page from our main menu on our website, Law Padoodle Canine Manor. Um, you can also find us on cheapadoodles.com. I bought that domain name a couple of years ago. Um, <coughs> anyway, Check us out and um, check out the Sheep-A-Doodle Reservation page. 